recently on a Bordeaux star Ferda, Anima, and Bailino were summoned to a Federation base to hear about a mission. They were given little explanation as to what they're doing before being sent on their way with a new captain who has about as many questions about this mission as they do. While they wait for navigational data to update so they can figure out what their destination is, our friends are going to take some time to do some research of their own and see what answers they can uncover about their new traveling companions and about what might really be going on here. Not that any of these questions are going to be answered anytime soon, because there's a lot of mysteries to be found in this corner of space, and there's about to be a few more before things get underway. I'm your DM, and I thank you very much for sticking around and enjoying the story with us, and I hope you enjoy what's to come, because there's some very fun twists in store for our friends. that I've decided is going to happen is it's going to be a little scene with Violina because you've been doing some searching about Shadow and Sona and the Jaeger. Yeah. As you're about to go to bed, you get a sort of ping or notification from your sim unit that someone has sent you a message. Through the Shadow Net? Yes. Someone sent you a message through the Shadow Net. Alright, so I open it up, I guess. I mean, there wouldn't be any tracking on it, so... You open it up and you see you've been contacted by a user. You've never talked to them before. But the name they go by is Classical Knot. Not with a K. Okay. And it just says, I see you're looking for information on Captain Shadow. May I ask why? You see sort of like a shadowed avatar. Oh, okay, there's a person there. Yeah. Okay, there's a person there then. Okay. There's a person, and but the message, like, it's coming through, like, just in text. Okay. So then I would message back. Just curiosity, I heard about the Jaeger, and then, well, I went from there. Why are you asking? As I happen to know Shadow, as well as some about Sona and the Jaeger. All right. Are you traveling with them? Would that matter? Is there a problem? I've just heard rumor that they have been sent on a mission with few details. When you say that you heard a rumor about that, would it have anything to do with a certain pilot sending a quick message once we were told no communication was allowed? Well, no. Traditional. You have to in our line of work, don't you? That is true. So what have you been able to gather so far? On this strange mission and the people you're traveling with. About our goal or about the people? Both. You seem to have been doing some searching. Yes. It seems odd that we we were told that this was a retrieval mission. And that would be a simple, straightforward mission. And yet the Federation has decided that it requires multiple people with fighting abilities. That makes me curious. That is strange. The Federation has been sending more people on strange missions recently, with very little explanation from what we've been able to gather. We? Yes, we. Friends. Alright. So, do you know if multiple people have been- if these different groups have been going to different places? Or have you lost contact with them, if these are more of your friends? We have not had much direct contact with anyone sent on one of these missions. That's why we're looking to monitor this one. We're trying to figure out who may be sending people on these. Well, we were given instructions by a robot, and the robot didn't seem to have any other information, but they were interested in seeing everyone else's except Shadow's uh, fighting capabilities. Although, something was odd with the cameras. It's interesting. Shadow noted that as well. I'm curious, how do you feel about the Federation? 
uh, need to be careful about questions like that, you know. Even in the shadow net, there can be places where walls have years. That's fair, you're right to be suspicious. Those who aren't suspicious in the shadow net usually don't last all that long. And you have lasted quite a while. I've lasted not as long as some, but longer than others. Um, but what? what? <laughs> sorry, B. Sorry, B. I'm, li- I'm just distracted by reading. Victor Sykes' conversation. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but it is prevalent. Um, I mean, you are allowed to voice those things out loud if you want. It's just technically you don't know what that this conversation is happening yet. That's not what. That's why I'm not speaking out loud. But that is a good point, Victor. That is a good point. It's gonna be really distracting. <laughs> what was the avatar's name? Shadow Knot? Or no? Something. Classical Knot. Classical Knot. Well... I'm sure there's a reason I picked that, but I honestly don't remember right now. It's okay. Well, Classical Knot, you seem to be very resourceful. And this information could, if the Federation did find out about it caused some difficulties for myself, for really anyone, as we were given specific instructions not to contact anyone except the robot. So, would there be something you would be able to get or do for me in exchange for this information? I believe the Federation would have said you aren't allowed to contact anyone in Federation space. Do you know anything of people outside of the Federation? As you and I both know, the Shadow Net can hardly be contained by the Federation. But I've mainly worked with Federation, uh, pe- people in the Federation, since going in and out of the borders is very tricky. I do have information regarding outside things outside of the Federation. That's good to know. I will be keeping in touch are some of us that are concerned about possibilities of this 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 i think someone in a specific person in the federation might be manipulating things and i want to keep an eye out for what that could mean only one person have you how long have you been here we can talk more about this later but for now know that you have friends keeping an eye out if anything starts to happen I'll keep in touch. I'm afraid I need to be of any longer. Some people might start noticing this. Okay. So would it be only you contacting me, or would I be able to contact you if something should happen? You will be able to contact me. We have other ways of getting in touch with people. All right. Until then, stay safe and keep an eye out. All right. Until then. And the person just disappears. All right. I log off. And then... I would send a quick mental message to Farida, seeing if she's awake. Just being like, you still up? Uh, maybe. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Something came up just now. Oh yeah? What? Apparently, my research has been found out by... I don't know if it's Shadow herself, or Sona being an AI, or someone that, uh... The, pers- the person or group that Shadow was not so subtly speaking with, but they were asking questions about the mission. How many of those did you answer? <laughs> <laughs> I tried to be as general as possible. You never know when uh, unintended ears may be listening. Yeah, that's good. That's good. <clears throat> well... Did they happen to give you any information? Yes. We this is not the first type of mission that was sent. We are not yet yeah, we are not the first group that was sent on a very vague mission to possibly at least outside Federation space. Sounds a lot like a mission that is assumed to fail. That's why they keep it quiet. Yeah. Well, that would be easier than getting rid of us in their base, but why would they send one of their own people? Why would they send Anima as security? She seems to have no reason to doubt the Federation. That's fair. But she also seems like just enough of an anomaly to not necessarily be around. True. Nothing really came out of the talk, especially besides that information. It, well, Shadow has friends on the Shadow Net. That's 
not an impossible thing. And this could get very tricky. That's what I'm assuming. Though this is a very bizarre group. People are so suspicious and I'm so proud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to add here, Anima is not suspicious at all of anything. No, no, I didn't True. think you were. <laughs> I think Anima is probably still very, very confused by Farida. Yeah, <laughs> that may be keeping you up at night. <laughs> <laughs> Farida wants me to help her with colors? What? Uh... <laughs> green or blue? Come on, green or blue? Blue, green? Green, blue? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, yes. So, there's at least two definite parties who are interested in our mission. Federation, and then this group. The, the person mentioned that they, had, that they had friends, so... That does make it sound like it's not exactly just a straight-up, like, kill mission. That it's, it's maybe a little bit more... Yeah. We'll have to see more about uh, where we're going and what may be around that box yeah. or that uh, package. Yeah, I guess so. Still a lot to find out. Still a lot of mystery here. Yeah. Well, thank you for letting me know. No problem. In the meantime, I've been trying to figure out the sly robot. Okay. It is actually wonderful to see one of them try to figure out an artistic question. <laughs> yeah, I may try to talk to Anima about more about jewelry. I think you uh, really <laughs> startled her by the... Oh, I don't mean it in any malicious way. I do mean no, it in any... No, I know that. It's just you sometimes get a bit over-enthusiastic and she may need more of a slower approach. That's fair. That's fair. Alright. They said that they would contact me or they'd have some other way to contact me. <laughs> but this is gonna be... This is definitely not a normal mission. That was obvious as soon as they didn't tell us anything. Yeah, yeah. Well, with that information out there, that this mission is happening, I wonder how many other interested parties are going to show up. True. Hmm. Oh, well. And nothing else of note happens that night unless y'all decide you want to do something, but there are no more mysterious messages. I mean, that's always helpful. Hmm. I think Vi would actually like to sort of stealth out of her room. I mean, if someone catches her, then she can try to bluff her way out of it, but I think she'd rather sneak out of it. Also, question, what shot, what's your, what is the, your name on your shadow net ID? It would have been whichever one you pro probably were like, whichever one you were using when you were doing the search. That's a good question. And another question, does it change each time you log in? Ooh, that would be a very good thing to do. I would say, yeah, I think Vi's a bit paranoid enough to try to change it each time. But the time when she was searching, or it may change each day, because she did search multiple times a day. And you've also mentioned you have different personas for different aspects of things you do on the chat. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see. Imagine the message would not have been sent to the one for the jewelry business. Yeah, no, if it was, there would be major problems, but... Uh, <laughs> It'd be a moment of, well, that ID's gone. <laughs> or, well, we need to have a talk with Shadow. Let's see. I have to think of a name now. We can also come up with it later. We can figure out what different Shadow ID names are. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. I'm not going to make you come up with that on the spot, my bad. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, it's okay. I didn't even think about that, but okay. So back to what you were wanting to do after that yeah. strange um, conversation. Would you, would you say it's pretty late? Um, it starts to tell in space, but it's... You probably have about another hour or so to do something if you still want to be able to get a good night's rest. Well, okay, a better question maybe. Does it seem like everyone's asleep? Except for Farida and myself. I mean, Farida, because I just talked to her, but... You would assume so? I mean, AI don't really sleep. Yeah, but she would probably be in her room or the engineering room. I yeah, know. After dinner, Sona would have manned the helm, and Shadow probably would have stayed there for her, with her for a little longer, but at this point, you've probably heard her walking by and going to her quarters. And it, she hasn't left. 
Okay. Well, she did say you have free reign of the ship. Yeah, but, you know, just having free reign does not mean that if you're gonna be doing or checking for something, that you want people to know you're moving around. That is fair. Yeah. So I would kind of like to stealthily, but not... I don't know. Let's get up to the mess hall first. I'd like to try sort of stealth up to the mess hall. Call me a stealth check. I have plus seven to stealth. As Vi prepares to go out, shadows are wrapping around her and making her harder to see. And I got a 15. Not great. Okay, so shadow, there's no sign that she has any idea that you're awake. Okay. So am I up at the mess hall or... Yep, that's where you want to go. Well, not exactly. I would like to look... Is the door to the helm open or closed? It's probably being closed because it would just be Sona up there monitoring things. Okay, so Sona would be up there then. Because even though the ship's on autopilot, it's still just kind of making sure asteroids or something doesn't happen. Okay, then that changes my plan because I was going to go check for things in the helm, but... If you want, you could sort of wait until at some point Sona might get up and go to check the engine engine room. Okay, I have a little bit of time, right? You said an hour? Yeah. It's not a huge ship, so... Yeah. I'll wait a little bit, hidden in a corner or something. You wait for about, like, 15 or 20 minutes. Like, it's not super long. You see Sona just walks out, walks right past you, and heads down the ladder. Just shows no sign that she knows what you're, that you're there. I was gonna- I rolled to see if she'd even have an inkling, and she got a nat one, so she has Ooh, no nope. idea. Okay, everything is fine. Okay, cool. AI is oblivious. That's okay. I have no problem with that. Yeah, so uh, she leaves the door open. Okay. And just goes down. I creep into the helm room and I look around, probably more specifically, like in crannies and under the control panel, I guess, of the ship for uh, like a tracking device or something. So, what would that, what kind of role would that be? Would that be perception, investigation? Investigation, because you're looking for something specific. Let me. 15. Somewhere near the navigation compa- panel where you see, like, the display, there is a device attached to it. It's not something you normally see. And roll plus computers. Roll computers? Okay. Yeah. 21. Okay, so looking at this device, you recognize that it would be used to interact and interface directly with the navigation system. So, with your knowledge of technology... This is what the Federation put on there to feed the ship the directions for where it's going. It's something that's it's going to be tamper-proof, and there is a little sort of relay on there to feed updates back to whatever Federation outpost is monitoring your progress. So it's their way of making sure that the ship is staying on course, as well as feeding any course updates to it. Okay, but there's nothing else, just that, that I can see? That's the only thing that's gonna that really st- that sticks okay. out at all. Mm-hmm. Other than the configuration of the panels aren't going to be exactly like what you're used to seeing. Mm-hmm. But it's still it looks like it's just different configurations, but mostly the same function because this was a prototype of a ship, mm-hmm. so it was configured differently. But it, there's nothing that seems to be out of the ordinary that was not part of the original design. Okay. This may be a long shot, but is there a way I could try to also get the updates that the Federation is getting to where it sends not only to them, but to like my sim unit as well? Because I don't know if I want to take that off just yet, at least. I don't know exactly what, if you would have anything that you could sort of put on there to also transfer the information. Let's see, I have an agent's pack, infiltration tools, jeweler's tools... PSD, and then my SIM glasses. The agent's pack includes a backpack, flashlight, metallic restraints, recording unit, six flares, five days of rations, 50 feet of microfilament wire, and infiltration tools is like micro forceps, glass cutter, lock picks, and a data, data lock code breaker. 
so probably not, right? Yeah, you you wouldn't have anything to be on there, but on the top of the panel is a display, so you can see roughly where you are. You don't really recognize where you are, like you can see markings of planets with different designations, but since you've never really been in this area, you don't recognize where any of it might be. Okay, and there's no, like, coordinates? Or anything. Okay, so, so the coordinates are programmed in there, but most of what you can see is the flight path and current coordinates of where you are. But you still are not quite close enough to be a- to be able to see what the destination is. Okay, I definitely want to remember that it's there, but how big do you think the recording unit would be? Because I don't think there's any mention of its size. Or would that be in my glasses? I imagine recording units like a little camera that you can plug somewhere that sort of feeds into your glasses. So I'm imagining it's pretty small, but it's not like in the super spy things where it's like you just put a little sticker on the wall and you can watch through it. I did find it in the rule book, if you want me to read from that. It doesn't say the size, but... Is it basically supposed to function like a spy cam? Yeah, it says usually a piece of headgear or body attachment. This device can record panoramic video at all angles, including the recorder, and broadcast it simultaneously over multiple multiple media formats, popular amongst journalists and artists. Okay, yeah, so it's not going to be something you can subtly hide. It's more of something you wear. Okay, so I wouldn't be able to, like, stick it anywhere. Okay. I mean, it'd be kind of obvious. Yeah, that's true. Okay, then I'll just... <laughs> Did Shadow remember to to bring her Federation <laughs> sim unit with her back to her room? Oh yeah, no, she it's did okay. Her sim unit, her her sim unit is not left there. I still can't Darn. believe she did that. <laughs> yeah, and I'm guessing our personal one's still with her. Yeah. All right, then I'll go back out. Okay. And hey, do you want me to roll for stealth or something? So oh, yes, because as you're walking out, you can hear the sound of Soda has a rather distinct clunk, 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 clunk to her step, so you can hear that coming towards the ladder. Okay. So roll to see how sneaky you be. Stealth, 21. I'd be sneaky. She notices nothing. I'm assuming you left the door about the same amount open and didn't really move anything. Yeah, no. I just wanted to see if there were tracking devices in the helm. Sona does not notice you. Just clunk, 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 clunk. Goes in, pulls the door shut behind her. Here, clunk, 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 and then nothing. Okay, but how much time was that, do you think? The whole thing probably took about like half an hour to 45 minutes between you waiting and like how long it took you to search. I think I'll go to bed for now then. Okay. And does anyone else want to do anything sneaky? Or is everyone just kind of going to bed and is Anima still having her existential crisis? Can I listen at Anima's door and see if she is having an existential crisis out loud? I mean, if you want to, Casey is Anima having her existential crisis out loud. Anima's asleep. Okay, cool. I'm going back to sleep then. Do you just hear Ash and Forge snoring? Okay, that's fine. (laughs) That's fine. Actually, I'm not going to make that character decision for you. You can decide if she hears Ash and Forge snoring or not. <laughs> Does she hear muttering? The snore. Because uh- <laughs> I'm not making that decision either. <laughs> it's just slight snoring noises. Okay. No mutterings of blue or green. <laughs> blue or green. <laughs> I'm just imagining her there standing there with like her eyes open, like fully awake, making snoring noises. <laughs> like consciously <laughs> making snoring noises. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> the rest of the day passes uneventfully. Probably what you assume is about like eight or nine o'clock in the morning. You hear a buzz on the intercom and hear Shadow, uh, hear Shadow's voice coming through. Also, her voice is not the same as it was in the original because that was not how I wanted her to sound. That's okay. okay I can fix that. Later. Breakfast is ready if you're hungry. All right, I'll go up. Uh, I go up. I go up. So you go upstairs, you see Shadows basically just, like, putting food on the table. She still doesn't have her Federation jacket on, still, like, hair pulled back, back tanked up. Everyone sleep all right? I know it can be a little weird on ships like these. Yeah, that's fine. Wonderful. And for breakfast. So, I'd still want to keep an eye on things upstairs while I rested, and she informed me that... Navigation shows we might be arriving sooner than expected. Does the navigation show where? Still not 100% sure exactly which 
planet or planetoid we're going to, but it's a sector. I've, I've been in the sector monitoring things and I don't know the delivery here, but we should know within probably around noon exactly where it's going to be. Well, estimated time of arrival is probably... It's now saying probably around, around dinner time. And that changed from earlier? Or were we not given an ETA? I'm assuming it was a rough estimate, I guess, whatever they have controlling my navigation. I've had to make some adjustments for one reason or another. I'm not entirely sure I've never had to deal with a piece of equipment quite like that before. Seems suspicious. From what uh, you or Sona could see, there was no change in flight path? There were some adjustments, but that could probably have been through migrating asteroid fields. And you said you've been in this sector before monitoring things? Yes, just keeping an eye out. There's a few outposts here, mining operations. Some of these planetoids have like pockets of natural gas in them, I think. What were they mining? Just the just for pockets of natural gas or as far as I know, I was just mostly to relay information if something were to go wrong in one of them, so it I could get in and monitor and feed information back to any response units. Ah. And I'm guessing everything was quiet? Yeah, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Everything quiet with you? She's looking at all of you. Yeah, it's fine. Everything is acceptable, thank you. Very well. well. Looks like we have a couple more hours once we start getting closer and we're able to figure out what our destination is. I'll be able to fill you in on a little more about what we're to expect once we reach it. Still haven't been able to dig up any information on what we're after. If that's the case, I will continue with my little programming job that I was doing for my next shows, being that I can't exactly prepare for something that I can't be informed about. That is true. You have a show coming up soon? Oh, I'm just always getting prepared. I don't have anything planned. Fair enough. And uh, will you be doing anima? Do you like to train? We have a training area. Or would you be interested in? You have no orders for me? Not at the moment. I'm mostly just waiting to get more information. So whatever you would like to do, I can show you around the helm, how things work if you're interested. You could just watch the window. You could train. It's not quite as fancy as the setup back at the Federation base, but it's something if you would like. I suppose, if you have no objection, then I would be very interested in seeing how the helm works. That's fine. Wonderful. It's been a while since I've been able to teach anyone anything. Who knows? Maybe, well, I don't know, they may let you be a pilot. <laughs> I don't believe that is where I am most needed. You might like it, though. That is irrelevant. Is it really? Yes, ma'am. Why you can go on up there? Sona's monitoring things. Yes, ma'am. And she turns and leaves. Since Anima's going up to the front, like, so she's gonna look over at you as you enter. Is everything all right? Yes. The captain offered to show me around the helm. I am simply waiting for her. If you would like, I could show you. I'm very familiar with the helm. Is the door open? Because Farrah does watching. <laughs> <laughs> the captain mentioned being excited to show someone around. Perhaps we should for her. Okay. And so I just kind of nods and goes back to watching what she was watching. Anima's just gonna stand near the door and wait for Shadow. Okay. The life of the robots <laughs> is so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say that out loud? Was that in character? <laughs> no. Well, maybe, but it would definitely be whispered. It would definitely be whispered. <laughs> Shadow's just gonna kind of like every you worked with a lot of Ash and Fortune in your time? No. That's why I'm having so much fun. So you don't normally try and baffle them like this? No. That, I'm usually doing that to human. Fair enough. <laughs> I imagine a little more entertaining to mess around with than Ash and Forged. I don't know about that. There's something quite fun about challenging anybody with a soul. Do you believe Ash and Forged have souls? Well, I don't know. I believe that there can be souls in just about anything you see around you. Interesting viewpoint. Most people here believe that they're not a whole lot more than just sort of mindless machinery. You see, you can even personify mindless machinery. I even see it in you, as uh, it seems that you and Sona seem to have a reasonably good connection. That is very fair. I like your outlook. 
Humans are majestically able to imprint on it. Humanoids are able to imprint on it. I just realized, I don't remember if Shadow ever mentioned the whole being part Promethean out loud. I would imagine that Farida being a Promethean would give her enough insight to be like, yeah, I recognize XYZ things that I do that I have lived through that I can recognize. Yeah. So what would the rest of you like to do? I can... You're free to do whatever you want. I'll let you know when we have more information on our heading. I'll just continue this. Um, yes, I think I'm just going to... I don't know. Sorry, I really don't know right now. I think I would, I don't know, maybe watch the helm or work on some of my projects. Things like that, but I'll be ready when the time comes. I'd offer that you could come work on your projects in the helm, but I'm afraid it gets a little crowded in there with more than three people. (laughs) Thank you for the kind offer. You can come up here. I'm not sure about right now, maybe in a little bit. Whatever you want. I'll just double check my projects real quick and then make a decision then. Because some of them are a little time sensitive. Well, whatever you need, if you have find you need any materials, we might have some in our cargo hold. Hmm. Then I may take a look in the cargo hold. You're welcome to it. Alright. Thank you. So I guess I head for the cargo hold. Because I don't think I've ever been there. I think the only room she's asked you to not go into is not go into engineering just because that's where the engine is. She's like, let's not have like just anyone touching that. Sure, I'll go into the cargo hold. I guess I'll do a perception check. Okay. Looking around. Up, 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 up. Okay, 20. Unnat. Not nat 20. It's not particularly large, but you figure like you could carry like a single larger package, but like it's it's not one of the, like, giant transporter cargo holds like you're used to. Like, there's one wall that has shelves on it and, like, bookshelves, and there's, like, a small collection of books. What kind of books? There's some books on, like, science and technology and some books and with titles and languages you don't entirely recognize, but most of it's just... Like, there's maybe, like, a ship manual on there. Like I said, science, technology, some history books... It's not a particularly large collection. There might also be some, like, fiction on there, but it's probably no more than, like, 20. Mm-hmm. On another wall, there's these little cubby holes where there's, like, smaller packages, and you can find like, small amounts of different materials. It's not a whole lot, but it looks like it might have been, like, left over from something. Okay. What kind of materials? If you have something you need for a commission, then you we can just say story-wise, it's probably there. I have not thought exactly about what those commissions are <laughs> right now. So. That's fine. That's why I was speaking in very general terms so yeah. you can decide if you need anything or not. I think I'm maybe a little, I may get a little farther in my commission before I figure that out. There's not a whole lot in there. I kind of want to look back at the book. Let me see. Actually, when you were researching to figure out what Dendis is, you might have seen like some of the symbols. And so some of the titles, like, they have similar symbols in it, but you're still not 100% sure what it says. A question about real-world parallels to some of the languages that we might see in this. Are you understanding Dindus as Chinese, have, having symbolic letters, uh, pictograms? I haven't thought that far. <laughs> okay. I'm just picturing since languages developing on different planets versus developing on the same planet what they call letters what might not look like typical letters to us it might not necessarily be like as pictographic but it does look different okay. i can tell that this is has a good chance of being in the dentist language yeah but then there's also like a book or two that's you don't know what it could be if Violina has come across any cache, because there are like some very small cache communities, like, you might somewhat recognize one or two of the titles, but you still can't really read it. Okay, so there's some in the cache language, there's some in Dundas. Okay. And then there's some science books and the ship manual, you said? Yeah, like books on like science and technology and some history stuff. Probably one in there that's like a, just a general ship manual. Okay, so not for this ship. Basically, user manual for this ship, because, like, it's a prototype, but when the manual is not as, as refined as other ship manuals, because they just kind of made that one, and it's a very basic, like, here's how things work. Okay. So, Shadow and Sona didn't accidentally blow up the ship. Fair enough. Okay, let me think. I'll definitely remember those books. Honestly, I hadn't even thought about the cargo hold until you went down there. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> then you shouldn't have had Shadow suggest it. Could I do an investigation check for any, like, hidden panels or anything? Sure. Ooh, six. There's nothing out of the ordinary about this cargo hold other than it's small. <laughs> okay. Fair <laughs> Which, enough. It's small in comparison to what you're used to. It's perfect. It's it, The size makes sense for the ship. I'm imagining, like, while you're doing that, at some point, like, Shadow gets up and starts showing Anima the ship, and we can... Eileen is down, poking around the cargo hold downstairs. Farida, you're alone working on your stuff. Yes. Anything anyone else wants to do? I'm trying to think about if I want to go back to the Shadow Web and look for stuff, but I don't think that there's really been anything that would basically allow me to do another roll. Oh, I mean... You could sort of dig a little deeper if you want, and like you do have like some pieces of information. Okay. But, like maybe search it, like go open up an incognito browser and search that way. You don't have like a whole lot of new information. Yeah, then I'll do that. I'll do. But you could incognito research your new friend. Sure. Yeah, let's do that. I wouldn't say my new friend, but yeah, the classical knot. Yes. Okay. Yeah, let's research them. Uh, by the way, that, that name might have been an echo for Critical Role Season 2. It wasn't how I meant it. <laughs> Promise. I'm like, there was some reason behind it, but I was just... Okay, so this would be... Which would that be? Would it, would it be investigation or... Uh, yeah, investigation. Computers? Okay, investigation. Computers is more of like hacking and figuring out how stuff works. Okay, I got a seven. That's... Classical not exists? That name exists on the shadow net. Might be yeah. something connected to like a sailor of some sort, but like you, you don't find a lot on them. A sailor or a, a pilot? You mean someone with experience on a ship? But that—that's about all you get. Doesn't say what ship. No, you—you you aren't able to dig up a lot on him. Uh, I haven't okay. decided what they are yet. Can you find the equivalent of a location? Tag to them. You can try. Okay, I'll try again. <laughs> that be another investigation? We could argue investigation or computers. I'd rather do computers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We can do computers for oh. Shadow Net stuff from now on. That's a nine. That's not much better. I rolled two sixes in a row. Yeah. They're in space somewhere. They're in space. Yeah. Not on planet. Okay. They're somewhere in the universe. Do I know what language they were typing in? Was it common? It, it would have been in common. Oh, okay. It was definitely in space. I'm guessing it doesn't mention if it was inside or out of Federation space. You can't really tell. Okay. I get the feeling they're probably doing something to mask their location. Fair enough. Either that or you just you don't have enough to find where they are. I'm not sure what else to do. Did we get that there's a name of that? What was it? The medical facility connected with Sona? No, you can roll for that if you want. Sure. That would be investigation or would that still be computers? Yeah, let's shadow net searches can be computers. Cool. Okay, there's a 21. Uh, okay, so you're looking for more information on that. You get that the name is Beacon Medical? Beacon Medical, okay. Oh, actually, no. Beacon Science Institution. Okay. And are you digging more into Sona's connection to them? Yeah. When you dig farther into it, Sona's actually the name of the thing that was stolen. It was a project that they were working on that was stolen. Okay, can I see more of what the institution does normally? Well, because like the institution, it did collapse. After that, you see that they were working and doing some not all that great experiments into digging into the biological differences between species, and they were going about it in a really uncomfortable way. And okay. since then, the company's gone, everyone involved is been imprisoned for indefinitely and all of their research was destroyed what are they funded by and where oh, sure. are they imprisoned like generally oddly enough doesn't nice. specify where they're imprisoned mm -hmm. but anyone who is funding them like they have since disavowed and you have tracked down the names of the people none of the people or organizations exist in the Federation, as far as you can tell. Okay, none of the groups, organizations that were contributing to this institution were in the Federation? As far as you can tell, like, everything you find, nothing of it exists, like, is within the Federation. 
Okay. So is the institution was the institution itself in the Federation or was it outside? Looks like it was outside. Okay. And they weren't working on AI or anything like that. They were working on differences between species and how I guess that can be worked around. Is that correct? They had a variety of projects going on. It's just that particular research that they were doing that got them in trouble and got them shut down. Okay. So could I research if they had been working on AI? You can, but like all of their research, anything they were working on, like it's... Okay. That information has been destroyed and this was probably about 15 to 20 years ago. Okay, can I do... Two or three minutes after you went into the helm, Shadow went up and is like showing you like, this is what this button does and this is how we do this. And is just kind of giving you a walkthrough of like how it works and how it's... Um, she's com- giving comments about like how it's a little different than most ships and it's like... And this kind of ship, you would see this would be over here, and this would do this, and they would also have these capabilities. And not getting super technical, but she's also not talking to you like you're a five-year-old. Explaining how things work. Okay. Alexis, what were you doing? Still in that incognito-esque search, I would like to search the Beacon Sciences Institution in connection with Shadow. See if that comes up with anything. You don't even have to roll, nothing comes up with that. Okay. Let's see, you said Sona was the name of the project? Yes. Can I look more into that theft, or would that information be gone as well? What you do find is when that went missing, whoever took whatever that was, or Mm -hmm. like whatever was in connection with that project, took it to the authorities who ended up, that triggered the institution being early investigated, all the terrible things they were doing were find out, and then everyone was imprisoned and it was shut down. Okay, so the project was given to the authorities then. You can't find anything on what the project was or what it was about, but it was that theft triggered the events that led to the institute being shut down. Could I find out what authorities were then looking into it? We'll need a roll for that one. Okay. Cool. And that's plus computers. Yeah. Okay, that is a 13. An organization called the Alliance. The Alliance, okay. Yeah, it's... Can't find out a lot about them, but basically, like, it's an interconnected group of different organizations, from what you can tell. And they were the ones who were responsible and were the ones who made sure that the program was completely shut down and everyone connected to it was arrested and in prison. Everyone connected to the bad side of it, the people that anyone that was there that was being experimented on was given proper com- medical treatment and relocated. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, they didn't imprison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that would not be good. Okay. I just realized, phrasing. It's okay. Does it mention that this alliance is also outside of Federation space, I'm guessing? We've never heard about an alliance within Federation, so you would assume so. Okay. I'm guessing right now I can't look farther into just the Alliance, or... Can I look for any connection between Shadow and the Alliance? Uh, yeah. Okay. Wanna try? Yeah. Ah! Almost. Sort of. Uh, seven. It was at 18 for a second, then just... Little roll. Nothing really comes up. It sounds like it's what you're looking for, it's just a bunch of random people doing stuff in the shadows and the alliance outed them and but you can't seem to find any connection between captain shadow and the alliance can i look for any connection between sona and the alliance or would that just pull up the same thing it's it's just going to lead to more information about how like the theft of project sona led to the destruction of beacon science institute and yeah so not okay and the Alliance just refusing to share with anyone what that project was. And, like, vowing up and down and bringing proof that, like, it was destroyed. Okay. Like, all records of it. Yeah. Yeah, all records of Beacon. Yeah. Yeah. How about, see if there's any connection between Shadow and the Dendus. I don't think I've done that yet. Have I done that already? Roll for it. Okay. Ooh, that's, uh, 12. You don't seem to find anything that connects Captain Shadow to the Dendus. The only things that come up are is like stuff just about the dentist in general and what you've already found about shadow and her service with the federation okay and there is nothing about the dentist found in federation information could i try to find a well, sort of a dictionary some way to sort of not necessarily fully translate but yeah to sort of learn how 
how the dentist language works or something. I guess, like a dictionary. Dictionary language learning guide kind of stuff. Yeah. You do find stuff on that, but you get the feeling it's probably going to take you a while to really fully grasp it. Okay. Like, you can pick up words, and but like it's it's going to take a while, because you got to figure out the alphabet first. Yeah. Okay. You can start if you want to, like, become fluid in it. It's going to take you some time. Or at least conversational in it. Yeah. I would say at least I get the resources for it, and then... Depending on what happens in the next, like, 24 hours, we'll see. Okay, yeah. Would you say that Ferda is too far away for mental missive? What's the radius on that? Fairly certain everyone on the ship is within range of mental Okay. Missive. Range 120 okay, feet. Cool. Yeah, so everybody within the ship. If you if you were flat against the one wall and Ferda was flat against the wall on the opposite side, the long ways, it might be a little too far, but yeah. Okay. I couldn't remember the range. I could mainly remember, like, the one feet of common metal or wood, like, blocking it. I mean, it might be, like, a little fuzzy, but it's... You can still communicate just fine. Okay. Then I tell her what I find, including the navigation device that I found last night. That sounds about about right for this. A lot of suspicious stuff. I left it on for now, in case... So they don't get suspicious in case something needs to happen. Yeah. If you get a chance to be uh, shown around the bridge, you might be able to accidentally your way into them, them showing you the area where that tracker is. And then you could, okay. might be able to That'd point out the tracker and ask what that is. point you hear something from the door. It's like, wait, oh, wonderful. That's how they're feeding us directions. <laughs> I will chuckle and say, if anything, it'll yeah. at least get everybody on the same page about what's going on here. Uh, sure. And could you send me a copy of that dictionary? I want to incorporate elements of that into my uh, next design. No problem. I can't think of anything Thank else you. to do right now. So I guess I maybe go back up to sort of the mess area and look, ra- just look around the helm and just sort of be in the background for right now. Yeah, you can sit and work on your jewelry because I'm imagining by now Captain Sh- like Shadow's done showing him everything. She's like, well, do you have any questions? Do you- I'm afraid I can't let you fly this thing. Navigation's locked except for in case of emergencies. Do you have any questions? Anything else you'd like to know about? No, Captain. Thank you. Welcome. Perhaps if they allow me to have you stick around, I can... Can you try your hand at flying? It's quite fun. If you say so. As long as you're not in the middle of an asteroid field, it's really hard to hit things out here. That seems logical, Captain. Mm. Maybe a little too much Spock there. (laughs) You can never Uh, have too much Spock. We need something, because some of the AI is not super communicative. (laughs) No. Okay, so, right. I did figure out which uh, proficiency I wanted okay. for Anima. The tool proficiency that you get for being a hmm? fashion forged. And I decided I wanted the working tools. Because my, and my, like, logic out for that is that sometimes on guard duty, that include they would, like, go over and be like, make me something. Okay. So, Anima knows how to cook. Yes. Does Anima enjoy cooking? As much as Anima enjoys anything. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> we will make you love things. <laughs> yeah. I guess the question is, does Anima enjoy? Period. That's it. Does Anima enjoy? Get there. <laughs> Maybe eventually. We have to get her to understand what enjoy means. Oh. Well, <laughs> that's, a, that's a mood. <laughs> Alright, so around this point... I'll say that Anima felt satisfaction when she made something people not appreciated, because a lot of the people that were like that were like, like, turn up your nose, snobby. not great people. Snobby, that's the word I was looking for, thank you. But if they didn't, like, immediately throw it back at her, that was satisfying okay. enough. I was gonna say, it's probably about noon, I was like, oh, let's track of time there for a bit. Is anyone hungry for lunch? I can fix sure. something. That sounds good with me. Captain, yes. you said something about lunchtime earlier, uh, about maybe being able to narrow down our treachery. Uh, if you would rather do that, would you let me take care of the meal? Do you mind? Do not, Captain. Our alley is fairly straightforward, average stuff that you would find. If you have any questions or need any help, just let one of us know. We should be able to figure out where we're going soon. As you mentioned it being new and the information showing up, so you just sort of like... Almost like perks up a little bit and then just walks over to the navigation display. 
Right. It'll be out in just a few minutes. That's the alarm emoji of noticing something. Yeah, so as Shadowman's on a sort of like huddle around the navigation display as you walk out to the little galley which has oh. standard stuff. Proficiency with cooking tools. Ow. Imagine like while they're figuring out where we're going, you fix a nice little simple meal. I don't know if you want to make it fancy or not. No, it's going to be simple. Anima doesn't care that much. That sounds rude, but like, you know. Anima doesn't know what caring about the work that they're doing in that sense uh, is. Anima doesn't realize the beauty of tasting really good. Yeah. I do think it would be hilarious if she came out with one of those five-star Michelin dinner dishes with the like little tiny meal in the middle with like one bite and like the whole plate is decorated with little <laughs> things. Like took, took, took extremely mundane things and like this is normal. <laughs> I don't think she's worked with quite that high up before, but you know, it's maybe she can learn the art of tiny food. <laughs> oh, they were mostly small name big ego types. There you go. <laughs> and so while she's cooking, y'all can hear Shadow and Soda muttering back and forth. Do I overhear anything? Roll perception. They're not necessarily trying to be sneaky. It's just they're just working things out between them. It's not great. Uh, perception. It is a 10. Don't mind me. I was just playing D&D without dice. Uh, okay. Rolling... For shame. Also, this is Esper Genesis. It's different. Oh. Oh, forgive me. <laughs> uh, 17? Some of it's the language you heard earlier, some of it's in comment, but it just sounds like, they're like, okay, so you mentioned different planetoids, and it's like, yeah, I think it's probably this one also. They mentioned some different names and designations for planetoids, and it's like, oh, there's, there's not much there. It's probably this one, or like... And just just kind of like going back and forth for a bit, and like after a few minutes, Shadow comes out first, and I'm following behind her as well. I sure I know where we're going, and now I can tell you a little bit more about at least to expect when we get there. I hope. Should we talk over food? Sure. I imagine it's been long enough for Anima to fix whatever it is that she's fixing. Yep. Which I imagine is just kind of like mac and cheese or something. Yeah, something easy. I buy mac and cheese. <laughs> Space cheese. Space cheese. <laughs> oh my. Macaroni and But space how do the space yes, cows that, work? Are they space goats? How would the milking process go? I would imagine Prob something similar. I don't think milking process is very that much. I mean, but doesn't it require gravity? Oh, it requires force. <laughs> <laughs> this is from someone who has, in fact, milked a goat before. Okay, that's I mean, a derail the you know? Squeezing for the liquid <laughs> to actually go <laughs> out where you want it. When... Okay. You gotta put something on it okay, to catch yeah. it, right, and then you can squeeze. <laughs> so what were we talking about? <laughs> Food. Be brief. <laughs> Food before we got distracted by space goats. Okay. <laughs> so Shadow sits down, she's like, okay, looks like we're... I do believe we're going to Krillia 3. It's the only... Federation operation around here, at least close enough to where we could get there in the amount of time it says we're supposed to get there. I don't assume they would send us to just an unoccupied planet that would be inconvenient for them. The operation there is really small, it's just manned by like two or three people. We might have a guard there, and it's just the planet has a natural gas. Uh, it can be converted into good fuel, so I. No inhabitants on the planet, so they're draining it of everything it's got. Have you been to this planet before in your monitoring of this sector? Was this one of the outposts you mentioned earlier? They've had me monitor it once before for a couple of days while the original monitor ship was pulled off for some sort of repairs. I think it got hit by some space debris, but it's, it's a small operation. So there's another ship right now monitoring it. I would assume so. We have some ships can monitor from farther away, so not showing up on radar. But that could just be because they're off checking on something in one of the other outposts. Do you have any knowledge of this? You said that I'm guessing they're another mining operation, so they on they're only mining the natural gas, nothing else. As far as I know, with how clandestine this whole thing is being, well, we're picking up probably isn't from there. Probably been shuffled around a couple different destinations, and I don't know if where we're taking it's where it's supposed to go, or just the next stop. Find out when we get the coordinates. 
heard from our lovely robot pal message this morning. The device that they implanted on my ship will set to fade in the new set of coordinates once we have whatever the package is on our ship. So they will know exactly when the package comes, or would it just be when we lift off again? Uh, could be either way. Well, whoever's delivering it, once they see us leave, they'll communicate, and the device will take over once more. It didn't take over until we left the atmosphere of the, of the planet we started on, so... Alright. I think they've probably learned the hard way. It's better to let the captain pilot their own ship out of atmosphere before taking it over. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like something important. Still not a big fan of something else piloting my ship, but especially small hunk of metal. Hopefully this whole thing will be over soon, and we can continue on about our lives. Mm -hmm. So, would all of us be going on the planet, or would uh, Sona be staying here, and we go, and the four of us go, or how do we plan on having this work? The instructions also told me to remain on the ship. I'll send Sona out with you if you would prefer. She's very useful in a fight, and a surprisingly good medic. Just in case something happens, because if... With mining operations, sometimes things can go a little haywire, but hopefully this will be simple. And they requested that you specifically stay with the ship while we retrieve this. It's typical procedure, at least what they're finding I do. Usually I bend the rules a little bit and let Sona keep an eye on the ship while I go and do the dealing myself, but... Okay, alright. Being very picky with this one. Anyone else have any questions or concerns? Not really. Are you expecting combat? I would hope not, but sometimes things happen. Federation doesn't like this being talked about, but there are some few who live on the Outer Rim that get a little pesty. Are we by the Outer Rim? Eh, close to it. As far as I know, there's no occupied planets nearby. Some that can hold life, but shouldn't run into any issues, and I'll be... Monitoring things and monitoring communications from here. During this day, Farad has been working on some flowery, bright special effects that are like kind of a green and yellow thingamajig going on. The moment that the question of do you expect combat comes up, and she gets that really non committal answer, she like closes all of that flowery garbage and pulls up something that's like black and purple and has weirdly disintegrating grays as part of the effect. <laughs> like, duly noted, taking uh, that into account for my aesthetic. That is quite the style you have there. Ah, yes, it's fun to uh, change it up every once in a Fair enough. Hopefully it won't be necessary. As I said, I'll be keeping an eye on all external communications. Hopefully. But judging by the one thing everybody here has in common, I would assume there's going to be something. What is this one thing? We are all probably good at a fight. Yeah, that's true. We should be arriving within the next three or four, maybe five hours. Sounds good. Until then, I've pulled up some information if you would like to more yourself, Federation records, anything I've personally monitored. I didn't monitor them for that long, but I can show you anything you might want to know about the base. I would like to take a look at that. Likewise. Sona, do you mind going in and getting that for me? Yes, Captain. Sona just walks off and goes down the ladder. If there's anything y'all would like to do within the next, you know, couple of hours while we're waiting, you can read up on Corellia 3. Not a whole lot of note to it, because that natural gas, pretty safe and sturdy operation because there have been other small planetoids that had similar deposits and they did not have the best safety measures so things went boom so even if there's fire it's really hard to make it explode now they've definitely increased safety measures and the operation's been around a couple of years i take note of that and switch over from purple to red <laughs> <laughs> that's manned by at most usually like three scientists like maybe a guard all right how often do they get visitors uh, sometimes, like, they'll trade out guard every once in a while, send people in to bring in supplies of food every month or so. And when was the last time they received it, uh, a visitor? Uh, probably been a couple weeks since they got their last food shipment. Okay, so they're probably expecting something to be delivered. Oh, wait a second. If it's been a couple weeks, then whatever it is that we're picking up has been there for a hot second. Unless it wasn't dropped there by whoever dropped off the food. This is not incorrect. But uh, I'm looking for all travel, or as much travel as they would take 
that they would have information uh, access to. I don't have any details on recent ones, just because like that information isn't always available to just anyone, because there's not really a reason you would need it. You can like look at the layout of what the base looks like. I'd probably also look at that. Yeah. I would take note of the number of people that are supposed to be there, and then the size of the base of what is known, and then I'd like to roll something to figure out if anything on the map that I'm looking at looks like it could be the opening to secret passageways and things like that. I know it won't be labeled secret passageway, but a hallway that looks like it should keep on going but ends in an architecturally unsound lo- or un- illogical place or a room or like within the series of rooms a unexplained empty spot where there's probably supposed to be a room but all the doors have been sealed off and there's a secret entrance to it uh that kind of thing yeah that sounds fun <laughs> your dm did not make a map of this You've got a processing station where they process in the gas ready for transport. You have a shuttle bay where people can do drop-offs and pickups of, like, drop-off supplies. Pick up the latest batch of the contained processed gas. You have a small little lab where they can experiment on things and better monitor things and play around with different ways to refine the gas and see if there's anything else valuable on the planet. There's a mess hall. You've each scientist has their own personal quarters, which is like a room and a bathroom. There's a communication room where they can reach out for help. There's a little panic room that where they can run if everything goes sideways. Can I use my investigation to see about the hidden passageways and hidden rooms? Can I also look? Go for it. Cool. I need to start making maps of everything for y'all. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, that's much better. Sixteen. 19. There's no rooms or anything that seem particularly um, out of place. Like there is, for a second, you do see this one hallway that looks a little strange, but then you can see the tiny marking next to it that it's like a little airlock. If the scientists want to, they can go out, collect samples, and to walk around. All right. It, since it's smaller and it doesn't have quite, it doesn't have the same atmosphere, you can't really breathe on the planet's surface. Yeah. And the gravity's a little, little lighter, so there's a little storage area where they could get heavier space boots so they don't start to float a little too much. I would guess that the, the flight suits and stuff that we have have like some kind of magnetic boot thing, right? So they don't float away? Yeah, either that or like there are some in the equipment locker. Because there is a little equipment locker, um, it's going to be right next to where the mess hall is on the Jaeger. Okay. Shadow will like show you where all of that stuff is and like any other sort of apparatuses you might need to be able to breathe and stuff like that. Would I have time to go onto the shadow net and research the planet? Yeah, if you want to. Sure, let's do that. Because I'm not entirely sure that I trust it. Although mainly that's just... Ugh, that's an 11. It's... See some people who are kind of grumbling about how they don't like the Federation stripping planets of everything that they have, but it's also not a planet people can typically live on. There's not any life on that planet, so I'm not as upset. I have an odd question for the DM. This natural gas, was it made in the way that natural gas on Earth is made? Or should I expect that it's from something completely different? The process is different. Your DM is not 100% sure how natural gas happens. Do you want to know? <laughs> uh, no, I'm good. I, this, it's just, it's a natural byproduct that a little exploration team discovered a couple of years ago, and then they realized, oh, hey, that's actually valuable and is similar to something that was produced on another planet, so that's when okay. they set up the mining operation. Okay, because long story short, natural gas is... Okay. How do I explain? So oil is basically the carcasses of small sea creatures. It goes down to the bottom, makes this ooze on the bottom of the ocean. That ooze gets covered and it gets within a certain pressure and heat range. And then it slowly becomes oil. But if it goes too deep, then that oil will change into natural gas. So that's why I was asking. don't know. It's naturally occurring. And that's probably another thing the scientists are studying is like, how is this happening? What about okay. this planetoid so, to see if there's a way they could sort of find others like it? Or maybe find a way to 
synthetically reproduce it as close as possible. Okay, so there wouldn't be life, like, somewhere. At least not that we know of. Or at least not anymore. (laughs) Yeah. There's not much known about the history of this place. It's just like they they find Puck Puck. Oh, hey, that's useful. Mining operation. Would I be able to look at the mining operation specifically? What are you looking for about the operation? I don't know. Anything that just seems out of place, I guess. It's it's just an average mining operation. Okay, are there any names attributed to it? I don't know. (laughs) I don't know. Ordinary scientists that are just stuck with this job and they're studying it. Anyone else have anything that they want to do before we go planet side? Aside from make our special effects terrifying. (laughs) Anima is going to look at it just long enough to familiarize herself with the layout and then ignore the map. So Anima believes this will just be a quick find the package, pick up the package, leave. Yep. Yeah, I think my internet's gone yeah. out again. Oh, oh we hear you now. She's basically asking, is Anima suspicious? No. Like, literally not even a little bit. Okay. <laughs> this is just something that is happening to her now. <laughs> All right. All right, Farida, you doing anything special? No, just checking the loadout, just checking everything. Basically, I'm, she would probably be assuming that she's walking into a combat situation, so she's going to prepare for that. So if there is any healing items that she could get her hands on on the ship or anything like that, she's going to she's going to stock up. Yeah. She's going to double check all her spells. Probably go full kill spells on this one. Yeah, she's she's real untrusting of oh this is just a pickup pickup order yeah this is not there's no way this is just a normal pickup order <laughs> she's way too paranoid to the pickup order yeah they wouldn't need this many people for that they wouldn't need this many combatants yeah to do that so while y'all are doing that um, Chao's gonna like gesture for Sona to follow her up to the helm for a minute and she sort of tries to subtly pull the door closer behind her I start listening it's in a language you don't recognize. Mm-hmm. And this? Part of me is wondering if the Shadownet has any form of, like, Google Translate. I don't know. I don't know. So there's sort of, like, whispering back and forth. I think after a certain, like, after a certain point, they're going to switch back to the common language and be like, Are you sure about this? It's just, I'm about to take precautions. I need to reach out and let them make sure things are prepared. I don't know what's going to happen, but may not have a lot of time to react if it does. Understood. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I think I would want to be once that's been going on for a bit, and not to cut them off. But I'd be like, "Hey, do you all need anything like guns, ammo, stuff? I can like hand you anything you need." Like <laughs> the conversation just kind of stops, and like, "How long have you been listening at the door?" She says, "Just loud enough for you to hear." I'm not listening at the door. You're talking behind a closed door. I'm getting ready for a fight. I'm asking you if you need anything. I don't really care what you're talking about. Does that need a deception check? Nope, it's Jamie. Okay. That's that's why I didn't record okay. it. Uh, if I was trying to figure out what they were saying, I would have recorded it and shipped it over to you. Or saved it for later. Yeah. She opens the door and they both come out like, yeah. Sorry about that, just some... Talking about some last minute checks we may need to do. I, I was about to ask, does that need a deception check? <laughs> <laughs> or do I need an insight check on it? You can you can insight check. Yeah, I'm gonna insight that. Because I have a plus four on insight. Ah, oh, ah, ah. That was almost a 21, but instead it was a seven. Seems legit. Would Vi be in the room? <laughs> Sounds about right. If you want her to be? Yeah, I'd say after the failed attempt to research, she's back. So yeah, I'll also do an insight check. Okay. So yeah, you, you heard sort of that part of the conversation. Yeah, and talking to people behind closed doors is also just generally a little... Hmm. She's paranoid enough to want to uh, just check. That is a 13. Yeah, insight check, 13. I mean, it's a little strange that she was doing that with the door closed, but you don't feel like she's lying. Seems legit. Mm-hmm. Seems legit. Maybe a little odd, but mostly legit. And so she like, shows Yelta where the armory is and like is explaining the different apparatuses and different stuff we might need. She leaves Sona up in the helm to sort of send an alert when they get within sight of Krillia 3. And... Hi, have you thought about making any attempts to contact your new acquaintance? Yeah, I thought they said that they would contact me. You can also reach out and contact them if you want. Uh, okay, I'll say found possible planet for pickup. Getting close. 
You do that, you wait a second, and this is with Shadow's currently standing in front of you, and you hear, and you hear responses. What planet? Question mark. Shadow didn't tell you? No response. <laughs> uh huh. There's a pause after you ask Shadow's. Then response is then no, thank you. Keep me updated with anything else. I'll let you know if I hear anything. Okay, so it's definitely not Shadow then. You saw her. Okay, while I was... The response was sent. You could see her hands. She was not the one sending you the message. A few minutes later, there's a moment where you just see her turn around, pull something out of her pocket really quick. And she's turned with her back to you, and then she kind of puts it back in her pocket and just kind of makes brief eye contact with you, Vi. So she suspects that it's me talking with the the shadow figure. When she just makes eye contact, it's not so much suspicious. It's just kind of like a... Huh, look. I don't do anything. If anyone needs me, I'm going to be in my quarters for a minute. Heads downstairs. I fun. Is Sona still on the helm? Yeah. Turret is going to go over to the training room and practice some shots with the light pistol and make sure that, it, that she knows what she's doing. The figures you're shooting are yeah. on the wall, and the gun you have, like, it functions just like a normal gun. You're just firing not actual bullets or lasers. A tiny spaceship. Well, I'm checking if it works like a real gun. So I'd probably be firing real guns. Okay. I'm assuming that if it's a firing range, That's fair. nobody shoots blanks at firing ranges, they shoot real bullets, okay. and the firing ranges are designed to take it. Please don't punch a hole in the ship. <laughs> she would be smart enough to not try to punch a hole. Do we have real guns now? As odd as that sounds. You can get them from the equipment locker. Okay, I'll grab one. We have as many guns as people have guns on their sheets. <laughs> okay, cool. We also have like more like melee weapons. That are on our sheets? Yeah. Well. Okay, cool. Yeah, and there's a little corner where you could, kind of like to fight holograms, but you could have them either sort of attacking you or like training dummies. Well, since we're on approach to the planet, I'm probably not messing around with stuff that moves or programs that take time. She's probably just like, set up a dummy, fire, 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 okay, this thing works, okay. and then walks away. Uh, Anima is also going to get her weapons and things, but not really in anticipation of a fight, more like that's her uniform and what she's like accustomed and expected to do on every other job, so that's what she does. Fight. Would you have anything sort of set up on the Shadona to be able to tell if anyone was trying to find information on you? She's definitely paranoid for that. I imagine for the jewelry one, it's a little less strange having people search you, but for some of the more clandestine ones, it... Yeah. Yeah, for definitely the ones... Yeah. Not, yeah, maybe not the jewelry one, but yeah, especially the one that she goes looking for information in the shadow net, especially, yeah. At some point, they're going to get a brief ping that someone called a Spectre. That's the Avatar's name, is Spectre? Did, like, a brief search for her Avatar, and then, well, like, that was it. It wasn't digging for any information on you, it was just looking for the Avatar. What the Avatar looks like. Yeah. Crap. Okay. It would have been the same avatar that- the same one that you were talking with, classical not with. Okay, can I change how my avatar looks then? I mean, if you want to. I'm imagining pretty much the only one that looks like you is the one for your business. Yeah. It's kind of like, you know, when someone's trying to make sure that they're looking at the right handle for something. You do a brief Google search to make sure it pops up and then just kind of that's it. Kind of like that. Okay, I think I'd like to change my information. <laughs> Okay, you're, you're welcome to do that. Okay, yeah. Because I don't... She doesn't like that someone's trying to search her. Alright, time to make a new account. <laughs> yeah, basically. Sort of. I mean, yes, but... since a lot of stuff is put up with the avatars, that seems like another way to try to figure out who that is. Even if they change their name and keep the same avatar, that's why. Are, are you going to puck around a bit? Yeah, I'll poke around in the incognito thing, though. <laughs> okay. Oh, yay! T unnat 20. Personal information is... Well, um, most people hide personal information, but one of the main things that you get from the, spe um, from the Spectre is that they have some connection with Classical Knot. They... I thought about what all would be on there. <laughs> oh. But it's it's someone who is also active on the Shadow Net. They mostly a lot of the stuff that you can tell that they've done is like responding to like distress calls 
and like helping people. Seems like someone who just kind of like wanders around helping people, but also like a lot of that information is just kind of like there's not as much available on who on things that the Spectre has done in the past what, ten years. They, they've still been in like communications with people, but it doesn't look that like they've responded to any sort of responded to any sort of jobs. Okay, they haven't in the past ten years. Okay. Okay, have they been helping people, like, help responding to distress calls recently? It doesn't look like it, but as you're searching it, you get the little ping from Classical Nod and just says, Don't worry about the Spectre. Your friend, too. Squeak sighs suspiciously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, immediately she's thinking, uh, you know. I think I will respond to Classical Knot saying, expecting trouble, question mark? Better be prepared than be wrong. Fair. Don't worry, we're keeping an eye. Hopefully explain more soon. Continues squinting. Yeah. I'm guessing Shadow updated you? Squinting intensifies. <laughs> what makes you say that? You didn't know information before. Shadow changes location, and suddenly someone else is brought into this matter. And you tell me not to worry, and that more will be told soon. I said not to worry about the Spectre friend. I didn't say I was worried. Fair enough. Strange things going on. Not sure the reason for some things, but hopefully we'll be more clear soon. Do you have any more information on the planet? You probably have more, but there are rumors of a, a delivery recently. No details. Better shows no knowledge of what package is. Okay. No. No. Oh Can't no, we that. lost Casey. The text about Great. internet. <laughs> no need to be suspicious. I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> now you know Sorry. how I feel. <laughs> now you know how I feel. Be very suspicious. Yay, you're back. I'm back. Talk about suspicious. Yeah, freaking internet connection. That's what's suspicious. Always. <laughs> Always suspicious. Sorry. I completely forgot what Okay, uh, they mentioned- um, Mention of a strange package delivery, but there's been no chatter on what it could be. When was the package delivered? Unsure, but was not part of regular drop-off or pickup. Okay, okay. Keep an eye out and stay safe. Alright. If you don't have anything else you would like to say and or ask, um- Not right now. I can't think I'll of it. just anything. sort of log off. Would you say Farida and myself are kind of- Secluded? I mean, I'm gonna do mental missive anyway, but... I mean, you're secluded, but I think Anima's still in the room with you. Okay. What would Anima be doing right now? Just looking at her weapons? I guess. Going what? through the motions, warm-up, practice fighting, that kind of stuff. Something like that. Then I mental missive Verda, try to subtly do it, and say that... And sort of explain the situation, and that someone else has been brought into this. And Classical Knot told me specifically to not worry they were a friend while I was uh, researching. Also seems suspicious. Yeah, this whole thing is suspicious. Can I roll insight to see if Farida would be suspicious of the captain and some? Go for it. Ah, poop. Yeah, that's a 10? <laughs> You're a bad dice. Get away from me. <laughs> bad, bad math rock. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you just like this whole situation is strange. So you can be like mildly suspicious, but it's just kind of like a, I don't know who to trust. Nothing conclusive. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Okay, I'm gonna go grab another math rock. <laughs> it's okay. The math rocks usually hate me too. Would math rocks be igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic? Uh, um, the really expensive ones <laughs> are metamorphic. <laughs> Casey. <laughs> I was about to say, usually, <laughs> assholes. <laughs> That's not a rock type, but okay. <laughs> um, uh, I would say to Farida, I'm suspicious of Shadow and Sona, but no point in making enemies. Yeah. Well, I mean, if they say that they're friends, then that's cool, but we were already friends before, so... Yeah, definitely do not trust the avatars. The Empire? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Federation, not Empire. You keep calling it the Empire, that's not what it is. 
Uh, this is true. I'm trying to figure out if that's actually something that Faraday is doing. That she's just calling them the Empire. As her own personal meme of, oh, they're so up and mighty thinking that they're, they're this special federation thing. I'm just going to call them the Empire just to screw with them. I wonder, I wonder if that's her MO. I wonder if she would actually just do that. I mean, that's fair and I will allow that. <laughs> <laughs> So if there's nothing else that anyone wants to do, you will be landing on Krillia 3. I think that's it for me. I think that's it, really. Yeah. And is not suspicious, I'm guessing. <laughs> no. That's okay. He is baby. Hey. When Shadow comes up from her course, she was only down there for like about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, mm. She's back in her uniform, which also doubles as a flight suit. Yeah, she comes up and she's like, to be there soon, Sona gave me the heads up. I'll need to take over controls to for the landing, but I guess be ready for anything. Oh yeah, I drop off most of the stuff I carry. And she holds oh, out no. to, um, small communication devices like here, so we can stay in touch while you're, we know so, if anything strange happens. Alright. I'll be keeping an eye on things from out here. I hook it up to my PDA thing, my smartphone. Goes in your ear. I get it to connect through Bluetooth to my smartphone. <laughs> <laughs> all right so y'all do that shadow goes up to the front and if you want like you can watch her she lands it just plain it looks rather boring i'll watch the flyover and try to take stock of the map that i learned earlier versus what i'm seeing see if the information is correct it looks the same it's it's smaller than most federation outputs but still pretty decently sized enough to have a good size processing plant and Shadow drops y'all down in the hangar and is like, well, like it's a smooth land. It's like, well, I guess we go in or you go in and see what's going on. Did anyone come out into the hangar when we landed? Um, not people, but they're assigned like a little robot helper sort of feeling towards you. Okay. And she's like, eh, well, I might get off, stretch my legs a bit. As long as I stay in the hangar, Federation shouldn't get too angry with me. But, well, she leads y'all out down the little hangway into the hangar, which the, there's like a shield behind you, and deactivated and then reactivated when you went in. So like, you, as Shadow walks out, the robot rolls up and is like, what is your purpose here? And by the Federation to pick up a package, I would like to send the alert. And it doesn't respond, it just kind of like backs up a little bit, then turns around and sort of wheels off. Decent sized hangar, mostly empty, they're like, some tracks and some sign they're like it's not used heavily but it's used regularly you can see where like there's a couple of different doors but like before you have a chance to really explore someone comes running out it's like oh here 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 for the package yes yes we are we were told someone would be here to load it um, well, <laughs> things have not cut exactly to play and i wish you guys had gotten here sooner what do you mean they haven't gone to plan the package was stolen Oh, good. They're like shaking slightly, and they kind of—they look roughed up, like they've been in a bit of a scuffle recently. Like Shadow just sort of maybe like tits of stole them where they go. Um, they came in from the airlock that we used to do our searches, and I don't know how they got in, but they, they came in, they took it, and then they went back out the way that they came. It wasn't that long ago. Um. Knocked most of us out. I just woke up. I think everyone else is okay, but if you hurry, you might be able to catch them. Shadow just rolls her eyes and is like, Looks like we're going on a bit of a trip. We might get some combat after all. One, Ferret is going to say, called it. Two, we should definitely be sending word of this back to the people that hired us, shouldn't we? Let's wait until we figure out exactly what's going on here. We might be able to retrieve this before it gets off planet. But still, okay. someone knew about it. A Farida is already walking in the direction of the airlock that they said, and is gonna say this is a walk and talk kind of thing. We can report it while still chasing them down. Yeah. Yeah. She, I was just gonna kind of walking beside Melina. She's like we've both experienced how uh, communication goes on inside of the Federation. Saying that under her breath to Melina as we, as we all walk I'm assuming everyone's following Farida. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Shadow was just saying that to Violina. Okay. So are we sending a message or not? Oh, okay. Sorry. I completely... My brain just went off. Okay. Um, she, she wasn't talking about in response to sending a message to the Federation. I think she was talking yeah. about, like, 
how whoever stole it might have known about it. Ah. Okay. Oh, wait a second. I'm gonna momentarily inside check the person that came up to tell us that. Go for it. Uh, that's gonna be a ten. Wow. That's also a really bad math rock. All right. <laughs> so do an insight I mean, check, if that's okay. Anna Ooh. just trusts. Uh, that's a seven. You. Yep. They look freaked out, but they're telling the truth. Can you repeat what Shadow says? Sorry. Yeah, so Shadow just says to Violina, I believe you and I are probably both familiar with how it is to communicate outside of the Federation. What do you mean by that? Space is a lot bigger than the Federation will ever give it credit. And there are people outside who keep an eye on things, as well as people inside who aren't exactly thrilled with how they do. I think one of the second group might tap into this package. Either way, we should get the package back before something happens. Yes, because with how secretive people- with how secret this thing has been, it can't be anything secure to make sure whatever pirates stole it, don't use it And then we can figure out what to do from there. Okay. So is anyone gonna send that message? Oh, send the message to yeah. the Federation? To the Federation? Uh... Jack pulls out her little Federation sim unit and types a quick message. Letting them know that there's been a delay and we'll update them soon. That seems vague. What do we gain by keeping it quiet from them that this has been stolen by other hen? If we can take care of it quickly, then we can continue on about our business. If we can't take care of it quickly, we can share more about what happened. And I just would really rather not deal with the bureaucracy of all the paperwork fill out. And all the questioning. They don't like it when things don't go according to plan. Well, considering they went to plan before we even arrived, I don't see how that's hardly any of our problem. You've never... Had to be had to answer quest- their questions. Have you? Actually, I probably have. You you've never been intensely questioned before, have you? Oh well, you've never you have no mission experience, so probably not the same kind of questioning. What purpose would they have in questioning us if everything that has gone wrong happened before we landed? The more time we delay in telling them that something went wrong, the more they're going to question us when they do eventually find out that there was a delay. I told them that there's a delay. Sure. To figure out if they're still on planet or not. Most pirates will flee at the site of confrontation. I would like to do a mental missive to Farida. Yeah, I guess this would be... I don't know if this would be seen by Shadow. Shadow's distracted, walking with her Federation sin me unit, sending some messages okay. back and forth. Cool. Then I would send mental message to Farida saying it may be the part of her group that stole it. And that's why she's stalling. Or not. Yeah, it certainly seems peculiar. Then I'll turn back to Shadow and say, I do have another reason why you should be letting them know before we do anything, before more time passes from once we arrived. Yes? The more difficult our job is, the more they have to pay us. The goalposts have moved. We now have to go find the package instead of pick it up and deliver it. So the price has just gone up. She just, like, goes back to sending messages. I'm so busy. Bureaucracy is a pain, but... Alright, they know that the package has gone missing, that we don't know who has it, but decently sure they're still on plan. There we go. That should okay. do the job. So they don't take it out on the people who work here. To be fair, if their job was to guard this, they didn't do a terribly great job. I really think the Federation told them how important it was. Probably didn't even know what it was. I'm surprised that they have more than maybe one guard here. Whoever stole yeah. it would have gone for the guard first. Fair. That's what I would do. But then that also begs the question, why did the Federation use such lax protection for something so secretive? I'm assuming we've arrived at the airlock where this whole thing has started at this point of the conversation. Perhaps they were hoping no one would suspect that it would be valuable hiding it here. The best way is to move something valuable is to pretend it's not. Exactly. Seems, fishy. Seems fishy. I'm going to start investigating the airlock to see if I can figure out what direction they're heading or if I can find out anything about these people that have uh, stolen the package. I'm going to find out what you The longer we delay, the longer it takes us to find them. That's why I'm finding. Because you're allergic to do has been kind of following you. It's like, do you have any sort of transport to get us across the planet faster? Yes, yes, this little, and he points to like a little buggy with just, with like enough room for like two people. And then uh, it's basically not quite a golf cart, but like the gator. It's like you got the seats in the front and then like a little trunk. So it's enough to fit everyone in it. Do we want to split up and half of us and some people go on this um, on the land transport and the other go with the ship since we have communicators? Ship's going to be locked down until we have the package on board, so 
I'll stay with the Sinsona with you. I thought you said that they couldn't control the ship until after you're out of orbit, or out of um, the atmosphere. This doesn't mean they can't lock it down until the package is ready to go. Then when we have the package on board and start the launch sequence, they'll probably deactivate. That's what they did with the last time. Okay. I'll stay here. Sona will know how to drive this, and I will keep in communication. If you're able to catch up with them and you think you can take them, best of luck. If not, let them leave. You can end another way. Shadow, are you also going to ask the different people here and see if you can find more information about beings there were, what weapons, things like that? Yeah, I'll gather what information I can, see if I can figure out where they might have come from, and cops are here. I'll let you know. All right. Travel safe. Keep me updated if anything happens. Aboard the Opal Star is an Esper Genesis 5e actual play podcast DM'd and produced by Brianna Toiber as part of Pseudonym Social, a creative podcast network. I'm Casey, and I'm playing Anima the Ashenforged. Victor, and I'm playing Farida the Promethean. My name's Alexis, and I am playing Vilina Sorel the Eldori. Music is by Patrick Chester of Chester Studios. To see more of his work, visit his website at chesterstudios.net. Find out more about Pseudonym Social by visiting our website at pseudonymsocial.wordpress.com. If you like what we're doing and would like to support us, please consider leaving a review or donating to our Patreon at patreon.com slash pseudonymsocial. Hello and welcome to St. Fleur, where the city is modern, the fantasy is urban, and the faction politics are at an all-time high. Join us in Shadows of St. Fleur as we follow the wizard, Alistair Lockwood. Regret to inform you, I'm not a wizard. I am a master of the arcane arts. The scholar, Jeremiah Roderick Crawford. I'm an earl, you know. You're a baron. Those words carry some weight. The wolf, Victor Margaret. Victor stands on the bridge in the cold fuck. The fae who is known only as Silk. Um, do we know if this was a, you know, was a standard mugging? And the vamp, Alex Jero. Quite. Because the first time the door opens, I'm going to push her out. Through their experience in the city. Shadows of St. Fleur is an Urban Shadows actual play podcast with a majority LGBTQ plus cast playing characters finding their way through faction politics, all in pursuit of their own individual goals. Find it wherever you listen to podcasts.